Hey everybody, Thomas here with Tarball. Um, so as you have seen in the group now, I'm making beer with the raspberry. And uh, I'll just make a quick video to explain you how you can make beer with raspberry. Actually making beer is quite easy, all you need is uh, malt. Um, hops you can buy in the form of pellets. Yeast, right, to make uh, the alcohol finally. And a lot of water. And you need some equipment. Um, basically, uh, you only need something to cook and a lot of buckets. So I have bought uh, something like this. It's um, around about 50 bucks, 50 euros um, or dollars. And it's normally used to make uh, hot wine or it's made to use um, marmalade, marmalade cooker. You can buy it on Amazon or eBay, it doesn't cost a lot. And uh, then I attached a, a wheelchair motor on it. To, uh, to turn it all the time because I'm lazy and I don't want to uh, st stay here and turn it all the time and mix it. But you can do this also by hand at the end, but if you are going to do it with the raspberry, you can do it automatically. Um, then to make some beer, you also need uh, yeah, <coughs> something to cool it down. So this is uh, just a spool of uh, copper, copper tube uh, with some connections for a lot of uh, water hose that go through my apartment now to uh, connect it here then I will put it into the into the, the the warm beer cold water goes through warm water goes out and the beer is cooling down very quickly then you also need a kind of separation bucket you can see I have two buckets here one is completely closed and in the other I've made something like this so it's like a filter and um, then you need some buckets to have the fermentation and uh, yeah I have some power supplies here and so on so on the Raspberry Pi there is a software running called uh, Meshberry it's a small DOI tool made by a German guy Stefan I think and um, it connects to my Wi-Fi network and so I can see the status here on the on the small screen that is uh, it's just a standard screen connected to the to the composite port, composite video port, keyboard and so on are not working here, it's just a small old computer. And uh, yeah, it's connected to my to my Wi-Fi network so I can see the updates about the temperature and so on about all the steps on my phone. Um, so there's a Raspberry inside connected to the Wi-Fi. And uh, on the back here I have a power socket. And the power socket is connected to a solid state relay. This means I can control the temperature by turning on and off this relay very fast. And the relay then goes just to the heater which is uh, shorted so that I don't use the temperature sensor inside the heater actually. So the Pi is doing everything. And here on the side I have a, I try to show it to you. I have this kind of sensor here. There's a cable coming out and inside there is a D18B20 temperature sensor going on the back of the Pi and uh, yeah, connecting everything together and then yeah, there's a small power supply below to uh, stir it all the time and um, yeah, actually to make the beer you can, in the software you can add your own receipts so you can buy a kind of kit so this is such a kit and then you have a list with all the ingredients and you have a list of how many times you have to cook it at which temperature you set this up in the in the software and then all you do is looking at the software um, putting the water inside it's also in the depending on the recept, recipe you have the quantities how many water do you need and so on then you heat up the water according to the recipe you let it cook at a certain temperature also mentioned in the recipe for some uh, some minutes so in my case it's one hour and in this time the the enzymes I don't know the English word so there are some chemical processes going on which transfers um, some stuff in the wheat into sugar and uh, there are different kinds of sugar but this is not so important at the moment so I have to follow different temperature curves between a, on a certain time this is stored in the raspberry so now it's still it's the first uh, step here, so I have to do it for, let, leave it for r one hour, still 40 minutes left. It's turning and uh, mixing and 
uh, then there's a second step which goes to 73 degrees at uh, 5 minutes and then uh, I have to add more water so let me show you uh, all the stuff here I'll try not to, to shake too much with the camera uh -huh. I said it's only a small live video so you can you can see the you can see the software here I hope camera camera do your job yeah there it comes so you can see the, the current temperature right now it's a it's an English interface so you have the temperature it has to be and you have the camera please do your focus uh, for the bullshit so I have to do it myself yeah now it's better so you can see the temperature you can see uh, the current temperature, you can see the temperature it has to be, the power of the heater at the moment, the recipe's name, the time or the name of the step, and uh, then the time which is left. So here you can see my, my motor, it's just a wheelchair motor, and uh, it's looking like this inside, and it's mixing and it's making beer. Yeah. And on the back, on, oh, yeah, you can see all the hoses, you can see everything here. Yeah, and here on the back, you can see the, this is the, the socket where I go to the heater. This is the connection for the temperature sensor. This uh, is the cooling for the SSR relay. And here is my power input, so I can uh, connect it to, uh, to, to the mains. And yeah, actually that's it. And... Um, so I will put the camera back to back to its position. Up, up. So I hope I'm still in focus somehow. Yeah. So when when this step is done, the first step and the second step of cooking, I then will put all this into uh, this bucket uh, with the filter inside. Here the the mesh will create a sort of bed. And with the other water that I will heat up later, I will just put it inside. And uh, by this small, by this small vent here or valve, I then take out the the first sugar water. Actually, it's sugar water. Then um, I will put it back into my heater, and look. Let, and then it has to cook for. Oh, everything is everything is floating away. Yeah, it's quite windy today. Uh, so and uh, then it has to cook for for something like uh, 70 minutes, and then I will add the, the hops to it. When uh, the cooking is done, I will use the the copper spool that I have here. I will use the copper spool to cool it down very quickly to avoid um, infections of um, unwanted. Um, unwanted uh, bacteria or, or, or other stuff so and then I will filter it I will filter it through a, just a standard cotton cotton um, how to say it cotton sheet or like a, a dye paper for the babies so made of cotton and then I will put it into a bucket I will add the yeast and then I will just attach a small this kind of tube on the top uh, I will put water inside here it goes on the top of the, on the bucket and then when the yeast creates the carbon, carbon gas, carbonated gas um, and the alcohol, I'm, I can avoid that there will be insects inside and other stuff I don't want. And um, yeah, when, when this is done, I will just, it takes around about one week to, to have the fermentation to create the alcohol and when this is done, I will just put it into cleaned bottles disinfected bottles I do this in my in my how to call it yeah in my oven in my oven I will just heat it up to 120 degrees I will put the bottles inside that I've cleaned before and then uh, I can be sure that they are disinfected and clean and then I put it into the, the bottles I add some sugar because uh, the, with this tube all the gas uh, the carbon native gas will go out so I will add extra sugar and then the, the yeast which is still in the beer will create the carbonated gas to have the, 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 the mousse, the, the foam of the beer and also it adds some more alcohol and this is always good. And then you and then I have to put it into my fridge for something like eight weeks or in the cave. 
to, to let it store again and then the yeast goes down and makes a small depot and uh, yeah then I can enjoy my beer. So I hope you like this video and uh, if you have questions feel free to ask. Thanks, bye!